these are the Iceberg Thermal iScale Lightning ARGB and A, extremely long name and B, unlike like three quarter of whatever Iceberg Thermal puts out, they are not turquoise. Wow! These are their, let's say, more quiet ARGB fans and we have seen them in action, like on their AIO. And on there they would performed fantastically, so I expect a lot of them. These are sold in a triple pack under Icepack Thermal's 5 year warranty, which is good, as well as a bunch of screws and spec wise they don't seem to be bad at all. We got 2200 RPM quick fans pushing up to 76.74 CFM at up to 2.8 mm of H2O, so spec wise they aren't insane. At 2200 RPMs it's not like it's a slow fan at all, but they are not insane. And to make them spin we got 500mm long cables, one for PWM and another one for the performance enhancing ARGB including a splitter. We got a 7 blade design with quite pointy tips, kinda like a mini version of the Arctic P12, just like more blades and in the center we got a fluid dynamic bearing. And to everybody's surprise, lightning means lightning. In the center of the fan we got a bunch of LEDs which can shine across the milky acrylic impeller. It's strong enough, we already saw it on the AIO, it's okay. Build quality in my opinion is mediocre. It's okay, like the fan will not fall apart, but I can very easily squeeze it to a point where I just will stop the impeller from turning. Sure they put some strengthening stuff on the frame, but it's not like it will do a whole lot. And overall from like a material strength side I would say it's slightly behind an Arctic P12. But hey, at least we got some rub on the corners. And congrats on keeping the designer in check. I can imagine the urge that guy must have had to put the turquoise collar on there. Like on every other thing he has ever designed. It's it's an addiction, I know. It might not be a lot, but this will do. And the holes are going all the way through, which is really helpful for radiator installations. So far, so good. And I guess at this point, let's talk about benchmarks. We benchmark the fans in two different ways. Once on our case fan simulator, a wooden box where we use two fans to recycle the air within and measure the results by looking at the CPU temperature underneath a passive Nokia P1. And for radiators, we blow through a 10 FPI 80 mm radiator and measure the performance by calculating the water temperature above ambient. For both fans, we test first the max performance and then we slowly lower the fan speed whilst noting down the noise to create a noise to performance curve. Allowing the ice scale lightnings to spin at their max 2200 RPM made the CPU stay at 42.9 degrees C above ambient. And that's a very impressive result. We are looking at something performing similarly to a Scythe Kasi Flex or EK Loop fan. Not bad, but given the fan speed I did kinda expect these to land at least high, but not maybe that high. But still, for a not crazy fast spinning 120mm fan, upper third is still impressive. But what about the noise? Well it's impressive. At the high end, these ice gates were a bit in front of a Fantex M25 or EK Loop or Lian Li Unity L fan. So very very impressive. Going down from there, they actually kept an extremely good ratio, up until the moment that the performance level matched an A12. There, funnily enough, the Noxia A12 was minimally better for a fraction of the second, or just like the 100% setting, after which the ice scale took over again and kept a slightly better ratio up until noise floor compared to the A12. So overall very very impressive. On the high end these little ARGB fans ranked amongst the very best case fans we've seen so far and it took until 60% fan speed so that the EK loop fans could take over their spot. But what about radiators? At full blast the ice skates kept the water at 12.2 degrees C above ambient which is a little bit less impressive. It's still on par with Corsair's QX120 but now they are indeed a bit behind the Noxia A12. And the corresponding noise to performance graph repeats this. It's still a very good ratio, just not as good anymore. Now they are slightly better than a Unity L fan, but overall they do perform slightly worse than a Noxia NFA12.
These are very impressive fans. Now, I did initially expect these to be better on a radiator than a case, and the fact that Icebag Thermal wrote case fans specifically on the box seemed just weird to me, given where I saw these before. But no, they are excellent case fans, and on reds they are very okay. I guess the cold plate and pump and everything on and radiator of these AIO was just out of this world. But if you get these separately, they are definitely better suited for cases. From a max performance standpoint on one side, but mostly because they got an insanely good noise to performance ratio. But what about the price? Well, for 35 for a triple pack, meaning you would be paying 11 bucks per fan USD for this and for this. These should be known a lot more than they actually are. Like, wow, iSpec Thermal did a fantastic job here. And I want to tell you a funny story. I had these for like a year now, or even more. I, I, I'm just, I don't even know how long I had them. But it's not like I didn't want to do a video on them. I lost them. I store all of my like to-do benchmark stuff in a IKEA Kallax shelf. Each block is just one batch. Usually you had fans and then AIOs and then air coolers and, and I come take a batch out, do all of my benchmarks, do the videos and then I come back for the next batch. Except for the bottom two, uh, let's say, blocks where I just store old power supply cables. Well, a Kallax shelf doesn't have a back wall and sometimes something could fall off in the back and then it would land inside of the box of old power supply cables which I open like once a year. But okay, this should be all for Icepack Thermal and their iScale Lightning ARGB fans and at this point a huge thank you to Icepack Thermal for sending them over because they are truly great case fans. Oh, on a side note, we have a Discord server, so if you want to join, the link is down below. And we got channel membership, so if you are planning to sell your soul for an RG poop emoji, that's one way to go. But if not, I'm also releasing the content to all members two or three weeks in advance. Except for the NDA stuff, because, you know, I, I don't want to get sued. Additionally, you can rest assured that the income will not only keep the channel afloat, but it will also serve to rebrand these to iScale Mech Lightning, because that makes so much more sense. Thank you for watching and if you want to continue, have a look at our take on the Icepack Thermal AOs. These were like insanely good. Hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye.